previous video, um, we verified that the going a um, Markov chain going backward uh, is still another Markov chain, given that we have a stationary ergodic uh, Markov chain, and also irreducible, of course. Um, and in this video, we're gonna derive um, the transition probability of this backward. Uh, markup chain. All right, um, and we denote this as a Q capital Q I J, which is defined by the probability of uh, exactly uh, what's. Uh, we tried to show earlier in this video of uh, a previous video of uh, um, why the backward markup chain is still a mark have this Markovian property and is a markup chain. By definition, here we use a conditional probability distribution uh, definition, and we have this is uh, x sub m is j and x sub m plus 1 is i uh, divided by x sub m plus 1 is i. And now here we use uh, what we learned in Bayesian probability of the formula of this uh, little trick right here, uh, which is uh, the probability of a intersecting with b can be written as uh, the conditional probability of uh, a given b uh, times the probability of b, and this is also uh, b given a times the conditional, I'm sorry, times the probability of uh, a. Okay. And now we apply this formula on top. And what happens is uh, um, Instead of a conditioning, uh, instead of a conditioning on uh, this m plus one here, we condition on uh, x sub m. But now we have to then times uh, x sub m is j and divided by x sub m plus 1 with i. Here we use the formula. The next step we have to use the fact that this uh, market chain is stationary, all right, which means uh, at each time step uh, the probability distribution uh, is the same, which means uh, the denominator is nothing but just pi sub i. And the top we have this term right here is nothing but uh, the forward transition probability. And uh, we just use a formula. This is simply uh, P J I, not I J. Is because uh, initially uh, we have uh, this at state j, and uh, then we transit to state i. And times, uh, now this is in state j, so this is pi j. And keep in mind, pi i, pi j um, are the same, are just different uh, values of the same distribution. Um, what I want to say is these, this probability distribution has the same probability distribution with, with this one. Right? So here, what we use is x sub m and x sub m plus 1. They have the same uh, distribution. And as a result, um, This is our uh, QIJ.
now we have our definition for a time reversible uh, market chain. We say a markup chain is time reversible if um, QIJ is uh, PIJ. Now keep in mind in this equation. In this equation right here, uh, this, this is PJI, this is not PIJ. And, uh, and we can see that um, if uh, QIJ here is PIJ, then we obtain a very straightforward equation that is uh, pi j times pji equals because this qij is pij so we have this is pi i times pij and this is the equation for the time reversible uh, markup chain if we try to uh, interpret this equation and we look at uh, the each term in this equation um, and because keep this in mind, pi is the same distribution. It's just a pi r may not be pi j, but they are indeed the same distribution. And if we look at this equation, this tells us nothing about uh, going backward or, or something like that. And we can view this equation as uh, in the forward mark of chain. This uh, um, in the state j at uh, let's say uh, at the time n, all right? And this is a probability of uh, we transit from j to i. And now we look at this. This is saying, this is a probability uh, in i at, uh, let's say still uh, at time n, and this is uh, the probability uh, of from I transit to J. As we can see, um, the left side is the rate uh, that uh, this Markov chain goes from I to J. And the right side is the rate of this market chain. I mean, the forward. They are all forward. Um, this market chain, the rate of this market chain uh, from J to I. And this tells us, heuristically speaking, um, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use some heuristics. The heuristics is a, a transition uh, from J to I for the uh, original market chain, the forward one, is can be seen as a transition uh, from I to J uh, for the backward. Let's say let me, let me use uh, let me use this uh, reversed this word reversed uh, market chain. And now let's uh, show the following proposition. Um, suppose our setting is still, we have 
an ergodic, irreducible, um, Markov chain has a transition probability matrix, I'll say just transition probability uh, Pij. If they exist, a set of non-negative numbers such that um, the summation of the xi is 1 and uh, this is set of numbers uh, is a so here this set of numbers is a, apparently a probability distribution because it's non-negative and it's sum up to 1 and now if it's satisfied The equation we just derived, that is x sub i times pij is the same as xj times uh, pj i for any ij, then this uh, market chain is time reversible. And it's limiting probability is um, XR. Now let's see the proof. And by a uh, theorem 4.1, which is uh, pi equals pi p. Uh, if pi satisfies this equation, uh, pi is our uh, Laurent proportion as well as stationary uh, probability. Uh, given this uh, uh, Markov chain is uh, not periodic, Um, it, we just have to show this vector um, satisfy this equation. This x equals uh, this x zero x one etc. satisfies um, this x equals x times the one step transition. Um, the proof is also very straightforward because we know that uh, x satisfy this time reversible equation. Uh, we just have to sum up um, in one of the in, uh, in indices for example, we sum up uh, the index i. Now, what happens in this term? Uh, we have two i in the, in the sum, but in this uh, sum, we only have one i, which means what happens is uh, we can pull out this j right here because the sum has nothing to do with uh, x sub j uh, and we have this is a sum up of, and if we think about this this is a sum of the probability um, of given x n is j and uh, next step 
we're at uh, state i, which is x sub n plus 1. And we sum up all the i's. Given we're at uh, xj right here, and uh, if we sum up i, it's like uh, we include all the possibility um, of where this uh, markup chain will land at n plus 1. Therefore, uh, it sum up to 1, and this is nothing but uh, xj. As we can see that, this is already the equation in theorem 4.1. This implies uh, x equals uh, x times p. All right? It's because uh, we have first uh, term and this term. And as a result, uh, our xi is stationary as well as limiting. And in the next video, we're going to revisit our famous random walk uh, example.